the girls go back to school starting tomorrow and uh, we've been forced to try to renew our routine getting up even earlier than usual and it's been kind of rough and hectic we met their teachers yesterday so hopefully all goes well they'll be in a new school this year and riding the bus for the first time so I'm kind of nervous about that this having no tripod has been a little hard because I keep sticking my hands in the way of the camera good morning ladies how you doing We have just recently started letting the chickens out of the coop. It has now been just a little over the two week period of keeping them cooped so that they know where their home is. So we have begun to let them out. And the other day they got out and our two silver lace were uh, running around after dark after their curfew so Jay had to do a little bit of chicken chasing to get them to um, get back in the coop so that they were safe at night but other than that uh, they've all been really good uh, the two Polish chickens that we have are the only two that haven't gotten out of the coop at all and they're those and our black Asians are actually a little on the younger side, so it's possible that's the reason why they haven't chose to get out got haven't chosen to get out yet, but they have the option if they want to. volunteer plant I'm pretty sure it's cucumbers but I'm not a hundred percent sure whether it's our pickling cucumbers or the little potato cucumbers that we had we've got like three or four of them in here this was my dump bucket so all of the plants that didn't survive or anything like that I just tossed in here and apparently some seeds still germinated so we may have a little extra something something going on here
it's been a minute since we've actually taken a look at the kids' garden. So I'm going to bring you over and uh, show you what's going on over there. It'll be as much of a surprise to you as it is to me because this is all them. Well, looks like their corn is definitely dead. This is marigolds. No flowers yet, but lots of bushiness. Their wildflowers are dead. Celery's still growing. And looks like they've got a lot of tomatoes coming on, but the tomatoes look like they've got some blossom end rot starting. So they're going to need to get in here with some kind of calcium to help out their plants. Now, their garden looks terrible, but that's because they've been doing it all on their own. They said they didn't want my help, so I've been letting them take care of it. And honestly, I'm not so sure they've been taking care of it. I'm pretty sure they planted it and have just let it do its own thing. So we shall see what comes of that. The ladies have found their way around the yard. I don't want to spook them because this is the closest they've gotten to this area. But they're making their way. Hey, Betty White. Papa? 